morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Carly Barnett. Here's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Protesters clashed with people at a rally to support law enforcement in downtown Miami. What's called the Law and Order Rally was at Bayfront Park. It was also to support President Trump. But protesters calling for an end to police brutality made their way to the park as well. Both sides exchanged words, and then protesters left. They held their own demonstration on Biscayne Boulevard nearby. Both sides spent several hours getting their voices heard. The prosecutor handling the police killing of a black man in Atlanta has suggested the police officer who shot and killed Rayshard Brooks could face a felony murder charges. The 27-year-old's death outside a fast food restaurant sparked protests through the weekend. The officer who shot the father of four was fired. Another officer was suspended and the police chief resigned. Meanwhile, California's attorney general is being asked to investigate the death of a young black man found hanging from a tree about 60 miles outside of Los Angeles. For the first time in three days, the number of new daily coronavirus cases in Florida did not break the record high. Still, though, the state reported more than 2,000 new cases yesterday. That's less than the nearly 2,600 new cases Saturday. This morning, the state total is just more than 75,000. Broward County has a little less than 9,000 of those cases, but Miami-Dade County is reporting nearly 22,000. Monroe County has 129. But ramps within the city of Miami are officially reopened as of 7 this morning. Their marinas reopened last month. Boaters and passengers are expected to follow county guidelines. Official coverings must be worn on shore until the vessel has left the marina. And that's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at Noon and updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.